Hey, blessings to you this morning, this afternoon, this evening, prayer warriors. God bless you. Thank you for taking a few minutes to pray. As we see our world going crazy, we can trust in God in our prayers. Amen. So our Bible reading today is Luke 17, 20 through 37. And the scripture says in verse 26, And as it was in the days of Noah, so will it also be in the days of the Son of Man. And if you study Noah's time, it was full of violence. I guess you've seen the violence that's going on. Lawlessness. I guess you've seen the lawlessness of people just going in the store, stealing it. No police there to help people and on and on. And also this AI stuff, which is becoming more and more. They said that Noah was the only pure breed, pure person left, that there were so many people, ne Nephthalins, mixed with the uh, fallen angels. I believe it's Genesis 6 or 8. Wild stuff, and we're seeing it today. So what are we doing? Looking up. Our redemption is drawing nigh. Today we're praying for Southeast Asia. Again, this is a creative access in its number 17 area on your prayer map. Please pray for the churches in this nation to be aware of the importance of discipleship. Reaching people for Jesus the first step to introducing the Christian life to individuals and teaching them to look to the Bibles for answers for their lives. Pray for those who are being discipled to have an open ear to all they hear. Amen. Then we're praying for number 27 and 28 in our United States, Illinois, population of 12.7, only 20% evangelical Christians. Indiana, population 6.7, 31% evangelical Christians. And today we're praying our prayer focus is civil servants. Amen. Civil servants. Got the prayer cards? Got a prayer heart? Let's go ahead and pray. Lord, we do bless you in this day, and we thank you, Lord, for your goodness, your grace, your love, your mercy. You want us to enjoy you in life, and we do, Lord, and we praise you for that. Lord, as we look around you and we see a world gone crazy, we, <laughs> you know, we say, we never thought this would have happened uh, 30 years ago, but Lord, we're saying, in just the last two years, what we're seeing the abuse and the, uh, the coming against women's sports, the coming against our children. And I can go on and on. We see the lawlessness, people running up and down the streets of inner cities, breaking into people's businesses, taking what they want, and nobody stopping them, Lord. We see the mix-up of, of gender and on and on. Oh, God, we're living in such a day and age that if this isn't the days of Noah, the days of Sodom and Gomorrah, I don't know how much worse it can get, Lord. But we are looking up. We're living in warp speed days. Everything is progressing so fast because scripture is being fulfilled. All the pieces of the puzzle are coming together, Lord. But we pray for ourselves, our loved ones, for strength today. Give us the strength, the well-being, Lord, as we live in an evil society with evil leaders in our country and the world, Lord. We pray today for our United States of America. We bind up evil people, Lord, that are pushing evil agendas throughout our land, and we pray for them to be born again. We pray for the godly that you would strengthen them, use them, that they can be an influence with these people, Lord. Lord, when a senator says, we don't want God in our halls of justice, oh my, oh my, when right on the wall there is the Ten Commandments, Lord, we thank you for those sacred Ten Commandments, Lord. And we pray those over our nation. Thou shalt not murder. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not lie. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's good. We want a nation established on our constitutional rights, not a socialist nation, Lord. And we're asking for strength to continue to move on in this. We pray for those that are in authority. We pray for the from the president to the senators to the House of Representatives to, to our court system, governors and mayors. 
Give them common sense, Lord. Let them know that each and every one of us is going to be held accountable to the responsibility that has been given to us, Lord. I take that very serious, and I pray they take that very serious. Absolute power corrupts absolutely, and in many we see that, Lord. So we pray for them today. We pray for their salvation, for the ones that are not saved. We pray for our world also, Lord, and the leaders of the world. We lift up Israel before you, and we pray what's going on. We see uh, one of our senators over there the other day saying there's no way that Iran is going to be allowed to get a nuclear bomb, and, and there's a conflict coming. We can all see it. We can all sense it, Lord, and this ain't going to be a little one. So we pray over the nation of Israel. We thank you for their supernatural protection. Not that they're all born again, not that they're all saved, but Lord Israel, Jerusalem is where the great king is going to put down his throne one day. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. It all started in the Middle East. It's all going to end there, but it's going to end glorious as we're taken up and come back with our king as he puts his foot down on the Mount of Olives. We lift up this prayer request from missionaries and workers in Southeast Asia. We pray, Father, for the discipleship there. We pray for our own discipleship, our small groups, the teaching that goes forth, Lord. And we pray that people would take hold of the word and grow thereby. We pray for Illinois, we pray for Indiana, and we pray for these areas, Lord, that have had, you know, Illinois, just a lot of things have come against them. We pray, we pray over our United States, over our world, Lord. We lift up civil servants today. We pray for police. We pray fire department, uh, hospital workers, uh, medics, on and on, Lord. And we thank you for these that are out for the good of people. We again pray for the prayer requests that are here and the prayer requests that come in each day, Lord, and we pray for needs of brothers and sisters. Lord, that when we see a prayer request come in, that we'll take a minute and just lift it up before you. Lord, I hate that. I, yeah, I'm praying for you, brother, and then we don't pray. We forget. Lord, help us to be people of prayer. It doesn't have to be hours. It can be minutes. But if all of us are praying minutes, we get much done. So we lift up these cards before you. I pray for my brothers and sisters as we await the return of the King, and I pray for strength upon us, your ability upon us, and your well-being upon us, Lord. Lord, as we look at our world, we can get discouraged, but we're looking up. That's where our hope is, and that's what you told us to do. The early church had a lot more things that we have, and yet when they came together, they didn't talk all this nonsense. They praised you. They worshiped you, Lord. And they saw great results. Many people born again. Thank you for this, Lord. We love you today. We praise you and honor you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Hey, God is good. Amen. Look it up. Our redemption is drawing nigh. God bless. Have a great, what is it, Thursday already. Have a great Thursday. God bless.